Hello and welcome back to Gears of War 3 Top 3 Plays of the Week brought to you by Protato Monster Productions. This week's winner will be receiving the Anza Tournament Edition controller. <laughs> Coming in at number 3 we have Diablo X on Gridlock. He gets his first headshot there for the Oscar Mike. Active reload. He looks around this corner. Gets a second quick headshot around the corner. Very nice. His third for the hat trick. Active reload. Looks around. Ooh, he sees a head peeking out. Boom. Killing spree. He's got one bullet left. Misses here. He wants that last headshot, though. He gets active with the Nasher, checks his flank, makes sure he's got a teammate watching flank. And boom! Right after the roll, takes off his opponent's head. Nice. Coming in at number two, we have Comrade John. He's going to switch to the Botox pistol. He's got 18 bullets. That's it. One clip. He gets a headshot. He gets a second headshot for the quick double. Third headshot for hat trick. Speed things up here a little bit. He downs this guy right here. Gets his fourth kill. Active reload, only three bullets left. Why don't we speed things up a little bit? And here it goes. His fifth kill with another headshot. Nice job, comrade. Coming in at number one and the winner of the Razor Oza Tournament Edition controller, we have Trademark with a clutch clip he sent in. This clip is pretty unique. It's pretty nice. I like this clip a lot. He gets behind his opponent here, lances him down, gets the denied medal, which is ending an opponent's kill streak. He uses a nice technique with the Retro Lancer here. He shoots little bursts with the Retro Lancer for accuracy and damage. This way he's able to get some long-range shots off. It's a pretty nice technique there. We like to call that technique here at Protato Monster Retro Sniping. Mind you, he's doing all this with a pink Retro Lancer. He gets down, luckily gets revived. He's last man out now. It's a 1v5 now. He battles that over here for a bit. He drops this guy. Picks him up for the meat shield. He starts to battle out over here. He gets overwhelmed. Knows when to quit, retreats out, gets his reload. He's gonna pick him off one at a time now. What I like about this clip is he's constantly wall bouncing, he's getting out of there, he's playing very strategically, he's switching between weapons, he's covering all angles. This guy, uh, Trademark, is playing very well. He takes cover over here and waits it out a bit. Switches to the retro. Downs this guy, he's getting attacked from behind, picks him up, uses him as a meat shield. He's got the killing spree. His meat shield gets blown up. He wall bounces and takes him out. He takes him out with one Nasher shot. Oh my god, that was a beautiful wall bounce. He gets his active reload. He knows there's this other guy coming in after him. He downs him, takes him out. And now we're down to a 1v1, sudden death. He switches to the Nasher. And here he is. Here's his opponent. Switches back to his pink Retro Lancer. Back to the Nasher. He wall bounces here a little bit, gets his active reload. He knows this is crucial, man. He's, he's been battling everybody. He's really damaged, retreats back. Another active reload. Battles it out over here. His opponent takes cover, he goes in strong. He's red, takes him down, downs him. Takes out his pistol and then finishes. With speed down. Nice play. Well done, trademark. You've earned the Anza controller. Better man and clutch. Pitiful. Creatures cannot own. Ha 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 ha.